Hi, um, we're from a community ISP and uh, we want to present you uh, our solution for, uh, it's a tool we wrote, it's called Arbor, and uh, we wrote it to manage uh, hard disk encryption keys. Uh, next slide. So, you pro well, probably a lot of you know the problem. You have like a, a server with an encrypted hard disk and you have a lot of uh, admins that need to access this hard disk. So, uh, next slide. So, what you do, you share a password. Well, we can do better, I think. Uh, next slide. <laughs> then uh, there's another problem. You don't just have one server, you have a, a whole bunch of servers and uh, you need to have access to all of them. So you need to know like uh, several passwords. And uh, next slide. Um, you need to type all those passwords. For example, consider you have a power outage and you have to type in like for half an hour password. So that's not really a convenient solution. Uh, next slide. So. Uh, we thought, well, we can do better, and we uh, wrote a tool to address those problems. And uh, I want to start with a wish list uh, that captures what we want this tool to fulfill. Next slide. Yeah, so we have uh, mainly two things first. That, that's the per admin policy, so we like to be able to say that a certain amount of admins have access to this and that disk and uh, another subset of admins have um, access to all the disk and one admin has access to only one disk. And we also like to um, ease the, dis uh, the key distribution. Next slide. So for, um, for the different kind of accesses, we um, kind of map a user to a lock slot. So Lux has um, eight key slots and you just define which user is in which slot and then we can set the access like that. Next slide. So um, if Alice wants to add um, access for Bob's, um, she types um, Arver add user Bob and the disk and then Arbor will add and uh, will generate a new key. Next slide. Uh, we'll generate the random locks key and um, put that um, key into Bob's slot. Next slide. Further, it will take the random locks key and encrypt uh, it with Bob's um, GPG public key. And then we have an encrypted um, locks random key, which we can hand over to Bob. Next slide. Um, we can hand over this key distribution via mail, we can um, put it in a Git repository, push it and tell Bob to pull it. Next slide. And then Bob can actually just type in, I want to open that disk and if the disk was closed, um, next slide. Um, it will take the encrypted file, decrypt it with the private key, um, send the key to the slot and open the disk. Next slide. Uh, so there are two more items on our checklist. Uh, we want to do automation, so next slide. I have here uh, two examples of commands you can execute with Arbor. So in the first example you show that Arbor groups your disks by server and by location and you can just uh, apply commands to, to a whole bunch of disks by just saying I want to apply it to the whole server. And you also have script hooks uh, where you can define what kind of scripts get executed after, uh, after a certain action is performed. So uh, you might imagine in the first command that uh, there would be a post open hook that just starts all the V servers after uh, all the disks are opened and that works all automatically. Uh, then another very handy use case for automation is uh, if, if you consider that for example, you don't trust Eve anymore, you want to remove her from all the disk you have, so that should be also something that should happen really fast. Extend time. <laughs> okay, next slide. Then uh, another item on our checklist is deniability. So uh, we want to provide at least some form of deniability and this is achieved by storing the, all the metadata that we have about the key also in the, in the encrypted format. So uh, uh, when you look at the, at the Arbor key, you don't know uh, for which server there is a key in it and you don't even know how many keys are in it because we apply random padding to the, to the keys. So you can always deny that you're even on the, that you can even access a disk. Next slide. Two. 
that's the future, future work that we want to do. And uh, next slide. Yeah, I hope you're done. It's just the URLs. The URLs. Yeah. The URLs. Thanks. Okay. Thanks. Okay.